for now, um, I have invited uh, another distributor. I have actually known her for a short period of time. I've known her recently. But ladies, do you know what? She is one of the most positive person I know that I met. For her, success is achievable if one is doing whatever it takes to be there. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Donna from the Netherlands to explain us about gratitude. <laughs> yeah, thank Donna, you. <laughs> thank you very much. I'm going to give you the host. Okay. So, good evening, everyone. Thank you for thank you, Arjus, for giving me the opportunity to present or share my presentation with you tonight. Let me just share my screen. So, this presentation I um, actually learned from. Um, course I followed some time ago and it's about developing gratitude um, okay no amount of regret changes your path and apparently there is no amount of anticipation changes your future but any amount of gratitude will change or can change your present Okay, what do we see here? Some people will say it's a glass half full or some people it's a glass half empty. Other will probably say, I want more water. <laughs> Maybe other will ask for orange juice or soda or baka maghanap pa sila ng biscuit to go with it. <laughs> In contrast, a grateful person will be happy with just the glass and the water. <clears throat> Today, I'd like to share with you a lesson on how to develop the habit of gratefulness. Bakit? Kasi it, this will help you deepen your appreciation of what's around you. Gratitude is the ability to notice, appreciate, and savor the elements of one's life. It can be experienced as an emotion or feeling, but it can also be a skill or trait you can develop for yourself. <clears throat> Kapag na-recognize mo yung mga bagay, the things in life that you are thankful for and appreciate them, you carry the positive feeling in your daily interaction. Magiging positive ka. And this is what we need when we do the atomic business, I think. <laughs> because <clears throat> we will meet different types of people during this journey and some of them will challenge us and maintaining this positive disposition will help us to make these challenge challenges mm. okay <clears throat> um also <laughs> I lost my uh, okay. Um, the gratitude just the power to help help us connect with the, the life in a completely new way. Let's consider this. When you were born, you were given a name, a color of your skin, eyes, as if everything was given to you. Um, how do you feel about that? So, bali kung yung gratitude, it helps you to perceive life as a gift. How do you feel when you receive a gift? Diba, ang sarap ng feeling. <laughs> For me, personally, I just can't stop smiling when I receive a gift. It's like I, I feel humbled and I say nice things. So, what if you could experience that feeling every single day? And that's the goal of gratitude. It lifts your mood. and just by perceiving things, maybe others or relationship as a gift. For instance, the sun is up. No, let's let's take another example. <clears throat> maybe atomic commission on weekly basis <laughs> or the effect of absolute skin regime. 
So life can be beautiful if you use the gratitude lenses. And lastly, gratitude enhances your well-being and your physical health. There's even a study conducted with them, patient with heart failure, and it improves their, um, their immune system. They have better sleep and they have better mood after they completed their gratitude journal. And one, one positive effect of this is when you express your gratitude for each other, you tend to be more willing to forgive each other and less narcissists. <laughs> So try to start building a habit of gratitude today. Maybe keep a journal or write simple uh, things, what you are grateful for and the reason why. Maybe like, okay, this morning I'm grateful for a warm cup of coffee because it keeps me warm. <laughs> things like this. Just, just simple things. Because as, as the beginning of this presentation, any amount of gratitude can change your present. So give it a try. Thank you. <laughs>